Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Siobhan and I post videos on a Sunday, a Wednesday and a Friday. And if you want to stick around and see any of my videos, please subscribe. So today I'm going to show you how to install self-adhesive vinyl planks. It's really quick and easy and such an affordable way. And you also don't have to rely on anybody to do it for you as it's easy enough to do it yourself. So I am going to show you how to do it today. Mine in particular are from B&M, but you can buy them online. And yeah, if you're excited for this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. So the tool that you're gonna to need to lay your self-adhesive final floor in is going to be a Stanley blade, a level, sanding paper, and preferably a sanding block, but you can make your own sanding block by just finding something which is like rectangular, square, hard, and covering it like I have. And that works just as well. And obviously you're gonna need a pen or a pencil. You may not actually need this, I'm not sure yet, but just in case anyway, always have a pen or pencil to hand. And also you're going to need an old rag. And that's all the tools you're going to need. So yeah, let's get into the video. scrub the floor so I've already just scrubbed it there as you've just seen and I'm now just gonna it's obviously very soapy I really have scrubbed it really well because you want to get all the grease any marks anything like that off so that the vinyl will stick to the floor and then yeah I'm gonna go in with my spray mop now over it just to clean up all of the soap and then we'll go on to the next step after that Then just to make it easier and quicker, we're gonna quickly go over it, wipe it down as much as possible to make it dry. The step you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna get your sanding paper on a block and sand down so you get basically get all the shine off and any marks that have been left, you can't clean with a sponge. And yeah, so let's do it. Once you've sanded everything down, we're now going to quickly do another mop over it, just to make sure that all of the dust that we have created by sanding is gone. So this is the self-adhesive vinyl planks that I am going to use today in this tutorial to complete my kitchen. I'm going to use the light oak effect. That's it there, it's called self-adhesive floor planks. It is from B&M and you get one, you get seven in a pack and it's £8.99 in for each pack, which is really good value. Each pack covers one metre squared approximately. So that's good for you to know so you know how many packs you're going to need once you measure. So yeah, that's the one that I'm going with today. And I'm just now going to fiddle around with placing roughly where I'm going to have them in the pattern because I will say when you are doing it on over tiles, because of the grouting bits, you're gonna want to really do this in a pattern so that you're covering them and it doesn't sort of meet the grout. If that makes any sense, you'll understand a little bit more in a minute when I show you. So yeah, this is the absolute gorgeous color that I'm using and they're absolutely lovely. And look how long they are, they're like an actual plank. So yeah, let me get on. The next thing that I've just done is I've laid out the pattern of what pattern I'm going to be wanting it to go in and um, because I am laying it over tiles so this is what it would look like before you unstick the back in and place them down it's obviously not all done yet but the first thing that I did to achieve it is I started in the middle of the room some people may think why it actually tells you to do that in the packaging and I actually think it, it's a lot easier to do it from that way. Some people are different, they like to start from the edge. So I used a level first and just adjust it, just the, the um, vinyl plank to where obviously it's straight. Some rooms are not very straight, so um, yeah, just make sure that you do that. Make sure that it's all flush here, look. 
So this is the bit here, but make sure it's all coming together when you're measuring. So that's where I'm gonna to come to now. What I do as well, or what I've done, was I measured each plank to the point of my, here, like these bits. So if you can see here, for example, this is a little bit off, do you see? That's because I've got something stuck there, so that's gonna to have to be cut. And then I'm gonna be bringing that up. Oh no, yeah. And then I'm gonna be bringing that up so that it's absolutely level with the pattern. That's what you're gonna need a tape measure for and a level. And they're two things that you really are gonna to wanna to need to make sure that this is a really nice pattern and it's done really, really well. So yeah, I'm really excited. Look how it's looking already and I've not even unstuck any. So yeah, oh, I'm excited. So let's move on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick down this vinyl plank first. I have aligned it all up. I've measured everything so that it's all in line with my pattern that I'm gonna build. Obviously I'm gonna be putting this away whilst I stick it down, but when you're doing this, you just need to make sure that you really, really measure between everything. Because like I said, my, my floor is not straight so it goes down a bit funny and because of that I'm gonna have to do a bit of funny cutting I think but yeah I'm gonna start with this one to begin with before you stick it again make sure that it's in a line with everything that you've got in this pattern I'm just going to quickly check. Yes, I use a level as well just to make sure it's stuck. It meets. Yep. I'm going to make sure it's absolutely flush to the wall bit. And first of all, press in the middle. Go ahead and get your old rag. Press and smooth out. Really, really get that stuck. Really press to make sure it sticks. So that's the first one stuck. Let's crack on with the rest of them. So I've got to the bit now where I'm going to have to cut a bit off because it's a, it's going to, it's getting stopped basically there, uh, just up there. So I'm going to now cut a bit off. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my level, get a straight edge to be honest, you can get anything like that. Measure from the previous line down to this line, down to this bit here. Make sure that you're going to get it straight. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take your standing blade and you're just going to mark it and you're just going to score it. So when you're about to cut this, it is better to score it and cut it, so like with the standing blade, on the laminate side because if you do it from the self-adhesive side, it'll get a bit messy. So obviously make sure you measure it right and then just go down and score it then it's easy as that snaps off, just like that. And that's how you cut it.
So I'm just going to show you again how I'm cutting it and measuring so you get the bits that are, the, you know, the little bits that um, you need to do. So all it is that you have to do, what we're going to do is measure it up, move it down a bit just so that we know. We're going to quickly mark it, just put a little dent in it. Then I'll go and take a straight edge. So I'm using my level at the moment. Any sort of thing that's straight. So you're just going to score it and then snap it like that. I'm just going to then quickly take that and there you have it. It's cut. And this is the end result. How stunning does it look? And it was so easy to do. So everyone, that's going to go and conclude today's video for you. If you liked it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.